Hello guys, you're welcome again to another After Effects tutorials and today I want to show you how you can do a creative logo animation in Adobe After Effects like this. So support me on this one, do not forget to like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, then turn on the notification, come back, let's get started. Now in Adobe After Effects, I am starting with a new composition, feel free to use your own setting, and the entire duration for this composition is 15 seconds. I already imported my logo and laid it on a background that is yellow. As you can see, I got this logo from freepick.com. You can check them out to get yours to follow up on this tutorial. Like you saw in the example video, there are icons transforming into another than before the logo came in. So first, I'm going to hide this logo and then I'm going to import the icon and then use the pen tool and make sure fill is set to none and then trace this first icon. And then I will, I will import the second one and then put it on the timeline and also trace it out quickly. Now we are done with the icons. So before I start animating the icons right here, I will first of all want to draw a random path through this. So with the pen tool still selected, make sure the fill is set to none and the stroke to a color and start drawing a random path. Also make sure no layer is selected on your timeline and then draw. Make sure you rename everything to keep things organized. Expand the shape layer, then add a trim part. We're going to go to about two seconds forward in time. So I'm going to expand the trim part option. I'm going to set a keyframe for the start, then come back to zero and turn the start to 100 for the keyframe value. That is going to draw the part right from the bottom. So I'm going to go like five frames forward in time and set a keyframe for the end and then go just after the first keyframe and turn this part uh, end value to zero. That is simply going to give you this. Beautiful. So I'm going to select all the keyframe, hit F9 to ease ease. So the next thing I'm going to do is to animate this icon right here. So I'm going to pull in a bit to see what I'm doing. I will collapse this option. Then I will look for it using the sewing machine right here. Like I said, if you rename everything, your life is going to be simple doing this animation. So I'm still going to add a trim part and animate it. So I'm going to go to add and then add a trim part. Then I'll expand the trim part. So what I want to do here is when the stroke comes in like this to start drawing that, I'm going to create a keyframe at this point where it is connecting. I'll create a keyframe for the start and set start to 100. Then I will move forward in time to about one second forward again and then set this value for the start to zero. So that is simply going to give me a draw like this beautiful so I'm gonna select all the keyframe then hit F9 to ease ease I'm gonna do the same thing to the remaining part of this icon now if you preview this this is what we have 
So what I did was to change the color of these strokes to the thread color so that I will know the one I have done. So the next stage now, I'm going to repeat this same process to animate the pressing iron. In case if this is too quick, I have a video you can check the card above where I explain entirely what trim part is all about and how to use it even though I've shown you in the first stage of this tutorial. So I'm just going to simply repeat the same thing now. I'm just going to simply repeat the same thing and then make sure this disappears to turn into the thread. And this is what I have after repeating that process. Beautiful. The next thing now, select the top layer, right click on your timeline, go to new and then create a new null object. I'm going to rename this controller one. I will then parent all this shape layer to it. Move your time indicator to about this point where the sewing machine start drawing. Hit P on your keyboard while selecting the controller to reveal the position set a keyframe. Then you're going to move some few frames forward in time and move it to the right. And then you move some few frames again and then move it to the left. So I'm going to simply copy these keyframes and repeat it forward in time. Now I have this moving left to right like you saw in the beginning of the video. If you like, you can remove the strength. That is okay. So at this point where the thread is coming to be, so I'm going to remove these last two keyframes right here. And then copy the first keyframe and paste it at this point so that it will go back to default position. So I'm going to simply also hit R on the keyboard and rotate in between this. I'll make sure I hold down shift while hitting R so that I'll keep everything open. Then set a keyframe. I'll move to the next keyframe and simply create a rotation, simple one like this, and then change the position a bit. I'm going to change the position of Y axis just a bit up at this point. Then I will go to the next keyframe, copy the first rotation keyframe right here, and then paste it at that point. That is going to give me something like this. Beautiful. So now it's time to animate the rest part of the logo. I'm going to unhide the entire logo right here. I'll select it all, check on the eye icon. Then I'm going to move all of them up. So let's move forward in time to find where to reveal this. Right about this point, I'll select the pre-composed needle. Then hit Y on my keyboard. First of all, I want to move the anchor point to the tip right here. You can pull in to identify the exact tip. Then I'm going to hit P on my keyboard to reveal the position. Then I'll set a keyframe for the position right here. Then I'll move back a bit to this point and pull the position on the Y axis downward. Then I'll move in between the two keyframes right here and make sure I pull the position right up. I'll select the keyframe and make sure it is easy ease. If you preview now, that is going to give you this. Beautiful. So you can change the timing. I want it a bit faster. I want it to be like it is coming out of this thread hole. Somewhere here, you know, the thread makes a hole here. So I want it to look like it is coming out right there. I'll make sure no layer is selected. Again, I'll pick the pen tool. 
and then pull in i want to draw something like this to follow this path with the shape layer still selected i'm gonna change the stroke to none and set a fill color any color is okay set the track mat to alpha mat so that way you have this coming up but the problem is when it bounces back it bounces back into the hole again to fix that duplicate this needle layer and make sure it is up above then we're gonna simply cut this to be visible just about this point where the just about this point where the needle is up we're gonna cut this layer at that point and now it is simply gonna give us this beautiful so it is now time to animate our text I'm gonna use a simple text animation at this point feel free to use any style of text animation you want I'm just gonna use the text property and then animate it from the animation tab right here if you want to see other text animation that I've done you can copy any of them which is one of them that I use here you can check the card above watch the video and then you can animate this to whatever you like so after animating the text this is what i got i then make sure i change the color of the icons to match the color of the threads the next thing I did was to use the same trim part option and the stroke layer to draw some heating on the pressing iron at this point like you can see here and then use the trim part option also on the explosion right here if you want to see how that is done you can check this video on the card above I've already done tutorial covering how to do all of this so I just simply repeated that and this is what I have this is how to creatively animate a logo in Adobe After Effects without the use of any third party plugin. If you learn something new on this video, please hit the like button. That will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'll reply to all questions as quick as I can. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can support me in any way. You can give me super thanks. Subscribe to my membership. Whatever way you want to support me with. Even if you share the video. That is also a huge support. And it is highly appreciated. If you like the video. Leaving a comment is all a support. So in whatever way you are able to support me. I highly appreciate you. So until I see you again on the next one. My name is SSB Otaru from Motion Digit Studios.